Hey everybody, we're back out here at the fish pond that was really first installed to be a bee waterer and the bees are still enjoying it, but the plants uh, are starting to get a little out of control. You haven't seen this one yet, I really don't know what to call it. It puts out a flower spike about that tall with a lot of little purple flowers up and down the, the flower spike. So if you have a suggestion on what plant this might be, let me know. Uh, but it has gotten out of hand. It quickly uh, grew through this area. So we're going to trim that back and trim back some of these other plants like the thyme. And I really don't want to trim back this uh, lemongrass yet because it needs to get trimmed all the way to the ground for winter. And I'm not ready for that yet. I want to harvest this right before it's ready to frost. So we'll let this be. And then we've got some new plants to put in. You can see I've added a couple little uh, sections of moss that I've collected from around the property. What we're aiming for is some low-lying plants. We want to have some low-lying plants throughout this area uh, so we can still see the pond, still access the pond, but enjoy it as well. So most of these are either, either a uh, culinary or fragrant in one way or the other. Uh, and maybe uh, we'll get to do something with this, but probably not for this project. We, we want to incorporate uh, our Broken Pot Fairy Garden as a part of this as well. So I know sometimes we want to do a project all in one go, but sometimes our budget doesn't allow that. So that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing a project that's taking several months to really come into effect. At one point, we want to, at, at the end of this, we want to see the whole area, uh, probably with landscape fabric and gravel, uh, so it's a real nice, pretty area to sit. But until then, we're just gonna keep maintaining and adding things onto it as we can. So you sit right there, take a look at how everything is now, and I'll be back in just a minute and show you how it is in a second. Okay, everybody, well, here we are. This is the end of phase two, if you will. So we've got the chamomile down there, the oregano, the golden marjoram, the thyme, the peppermint, and the banana mint. And I understand that most people are pretty scared about mints and how quickly they'll spread. If they spread and I have to eat my hat, then, uh, then I'll be worried about it. But I think we're gonna be okay in this area. We trim back uh, the plant in the water and we trim back the thyme that was here before and I'll trim back uh, that weed growing out of the bee area uh, sometime after uh, sunset when the bees are in bed and not disturb them any more than I have to. We also put the fairy garden up on a bit of a ledge uh, so that we could run water to it and it would uh, pour back into the pond. So whenever we can add an extension onto the pump and add a diversion up for here, then we'll get to that at that point. Uh, but for now, at least it's set up and in place and we can work around it. We know where we want it to be in the future. So uh, things are going pretty well so far. Uh, the fish are growing and happy and all of the plants seem to be doing well. So uh, as we make another change, we'll bring you back if you've got any questions or comments or if you know the name of this aquatic plant, uh, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if, you're, if it's your first time with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there in the corner. We really do enjoy having you be a part of our homestead. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. I wonder how long it takes people who work with bees without wearing any veils to get used to that buzzing sound, or if people like that were just born crazy.